Good day my friends and welcome at E36 Vlog 43, change your diff oil. Uh, well, I did some uh, repairs at the rear. Um, because of the rear uh, wheel bearings, I hear uh, less noise coming from uh, the tires, so that's a real upgrade. Also when I drive uh, on the highway uh, and I let uh, go of the gas, I don't feel the car braking uh, all the time. So uh, that's good, but I uh, still hear some uh, squeaking sounds when I uh, put the car in reverse. Uh, it comes from my differential. Um, they say that uh, the oil in the differential is uh, lifetime. Uh, what means is that you don't have to exchange the oils. But um, uh, what often happens is that uh, the differential starts sweating. What means is that a little bit of oil coming out of the sides. Um, already uh, have it checked. And they say it's uh, very less so I don't have to exchange the rubbers and stuff. But uh, when the oil level comes too low, it uh, damages uh, your differential and I uh, don't want that. So before I'm going to change all uh, kinds of different uh, other parts, I'm going to fill up or exchange the, uh, the whole oil from uh, the differential. Uh, of course it's better to uh, exchange everything so uh, the, the dirt comes out. Um, it's not uh, that exciting. You have uh, one upper nipple and uh, one lower nipple. Uh, a big tip is uh, to uh, get loose of uh, the upper nipple first because uh, when you get your oils out and you cannot fill it up again then you have a problem, you cannot drive anymore. Um, so what do you need? You need like a liter of oil and uh, inbus number uh, 14 uh, to get uh, the nipples loose and something to uh, catch uh, the fluids. Uh, you can do it uh, by three ways. Um, you can inject it, you can also buy a bottle and uh, push the oils in or you can do it with a pump. Well, I'm not going to uh, mix the, uh, the oils uh, with uh, the, the, the pump for the, um, for the brake uh, fluids. So I'm going to use a bottle. Um, I already went to the parts shop to get uh, the oils, but uh, they said that uh, you have two types, of, uh, uh, two types of oil, one for a normal differential and uh, one for uh, a spare differential. I already asked around and they say that um, have a normal differential. They asked uh, for the manual. I have to watch out how I brake now because uh, the brakes are still new. Um, so they asked uh, if I want to bring the manual so they can uh, select the right oil. So I'm going to do that. So then again, uh, what do you need? Um, the inbus number seven, uh, number 14, a liter of oil and something uh, to catch the uh, the oils. So I'm going to uh, to the parts shop now and get uh, the right oil and then uh, I come back to you guys. Got the right uh, oil for the diff, gearbox oil, 75W90. Then option number four to fill it up, pack it up. Injectable, but you can fill it up from the top and the hose to inject it, so it's uh, getting uh, less messy. Bye. 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 
well, you don't need to measure up when it's full, it's overflowing. Um, I called the parts shop, there was a BMW expert there and he said it's a little bit more than one liter. Um, I have got some fluids out, so it's less than a liter. It's not overflowing. Uh, so the guy from the parts shop has his girlfriend living over here, so he's going to bring a new bottle so I can fill the diff all the way up so it gets uh, overflow and then uh, it's done. so it's good that I exchanged it but there wasn't any uh, dirt or iron in it so uh, that was it for today guys and uh, stay tuned for updates <laughs>